Hey, welcome back to Beer Geek Beer Reviews, and this evening, I'm going to be, um, brown bagging it. I know some of you are just like, oh god, really? Did I go there? No, I didn't. Why? Because I'm going to put that beer into this said glass, and I am not going to put a chit beer into said glass. So, without further ado, let me go ahead and... Da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Da -da, da -da -da -da. Here we go, Matt Lutis. Three Floyds War Mullet. Yes, yes, yes. I have seen fantastic things said about this beer, and I have seen horrible things said about this beer. But I wanted to um, kind of find out for myself um, what this is all about. Um, since this is part of Cleveland's Beer Week, my buddy Dave had uh, posted up a picture. This beer was on said picture, and I have not had said beer, so I do want to get into this, so let me go ahead and do what is great, and hop a top, and get into the particulars of this beer. Here we go. Lovely. So, without further ado, we've got some little bit of bubbles sticking around. I just rinsed my glass out, so that could be another reason. I might have not have gotten all of the particular water droplets out of. But there is a ton of carbonation, and I do not think my camera is going to play nice. This is a little hazy. As you can see, man, it's a little hazy. You can see some carbonation floating around in there, some sticking. Not much. But this is a, um, what they call their double IPA. It is a, yes, it's a double IPA. It comes in at 8.10, 8.10 ABV. So just a smidge over, um, 8%. Um, and they've got their little tidbit story right here on the side of the bottle. Artwork. I do like the artwork, man. When anybody knows Three Floyd's artwork is just, you know, it's always made by some kind of comic book creator, artist, or whatnot. That's it's actually pretty interesting. I'll give them that. Of course, I will never have a mullet. I've never been one for that. So let's go ahead and get into the beer, man. Um, like I said, um, you get your typical, you know, double IPA kind of like citrusy color going on here, like a, a nice dark, dank, golden color, um, like a golden copper color. There is, as I can see, I look closer, it's, it almost looks like it's unfiltered because there's just itty bitty tiny little particles. I mean, it could just be hot particles. This is an etched glass, so I will have carbonation going through this. I mean, it is not warm, but it's still got, it's got a nice chill to it. So, let's go ahead and pour some more in here. Um, I can't tell if it's, I haven't seen anything written anywhere or said about this not being filtered or unfiltered. Um, but I, I do see tiny, tiny little bits and pieces. It could just be an older beer. I could have just picked up a, a beer that's been sitting around for a little bit. Um, but I am not afraid of the little particles. Why? Because especially in a double IPA, this seriously could just be unfiltered or just little bits and pieces and particle of hot particles. So I'm not, I'm not afraid of it at all. Um, head, after all those pores, two fingers worth of head. Um, the bubbles, the bubbles, the bubble, bubbles, my bubbles. Anyway, um, tight little lace niche bubbles down here. Real frothy and foamy up on top, very loosely. Oh, dude, you can, you can get that, you can get that dank hopper on the right there, I'll tell you what. 
Um, let me let me go ahead and get a nose in on this because I am thirsty, my friends. I stay thirsty. It almost smells like. Mmm. Papaya, mango, lychee nuts. There's a bit of green grass in there. There's like fresh cut grass. Mmm. Maybe a little bit of like uh, mandarin orange. Definitely some deep, dank citrus notes. Resinous, very resinous. What? I do want to find out uh, what it's going to be like on the palate. So, pros. Yeah. Hmm. 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 I'm gonna have to go in for a second thought on this. I don't know the IBUs on this. First off, I get I get the citrus, I get the hops, like they're, 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 they're there. They're going to stick with you throughout this whole drink. Um, to me, it's more along the lines of you get a quick wash over of hops that go all the way back. You get that, that bitterness kind of sting going on back here. Um, the bitterness kind of sticks with you the whole way. Um, that citrus, dank, resinous, um, grapefruity, uh, fresh cut grass, um, uh, more of that lychee nut, uh, kind of thing going on there. Um, melons, uh, honeydew, um, um, hmm, mm hmm, hmm. Mm. That's um to me it's got like a, a medium to full mouth feel to it because it's it is a little thick. It's almost like resinous thick. Um but to me I, I enjoy it. I, I'll I'll if I ever see it again, I would pick it up again and I, I would seriously say, Hey, um if you like IPAs, this is a double India pale ale. Um, I would seriously pick this bottle up if you could find it. Um, I wouldn't say that it would probably be uh, one of my favorites. I've had better double IPAs than this, but it is a really good go, especially for this company. This company does a, a, a fair amount of IPAs, double IPAs. Um, mm, excuse me. Um, this one here, it, it's on the lower scale for them. I, I, I do believe that this would be on a lower end scale for three Floyds. It, it, this one is also in there. <clears throat> excuse me again. The carbonation is going on, man. Um, I, I would think that this is on the lower scale for them. And, and when I'm talking about their IPAs. But, without further ado, here it is, man. Let's chalk another one up for three Floyds in my reviews. War mullet, pick it up, seek it out, trade for it, give it a go. Man, it's it's fairly good price, so I say good beer. With that said, man, I'm up out of here, man. Peace, pros, deuce, and as always, you can find me up on Facebook, Instagram, Reddit, Twitter, wherever. I, I may be posting that day. Um, other than that, peace.